A great football season has just comes to an end and Lionel Messi's World Cup dreams comes true. Argentina lifted their third World Cup title and world has just witnessed one of the greatest finals in the history of football. So today's video is about football but this is not a World Cup final match analysis video. Here we are going to discuss how big data or data analysis is going to change the way the football is played. So let's start. One of the best known cases of how data changes the sports come from a very different game. Could you guess? It is baseball. In his 2003 book Moneyball, author Michael Lewis is detailing how Oakland Athletics manager Billy Bean relied on player statistics to deliver a winning baseball team within a very limited budget. So, data analysis is influencing all the field including football and particularly in football data analysis is helping in making decisions such as player transfer intensity of training how to attack the opponents and even even recommending the best direction to take a shot at any point in the pitch so all the elite football teams around the globe are now hiring data analysts and this team of data analysts includes mathematicians data scientists physicists and what this data analysts are doing they are collecting data how they are collecting data they are collecting data through the variable vests and straps which can sense the motion of players the gps which can track the position and count the number of shots taken by each foot and the cameras fixed at multiple angles which can capture the headers want to how long the players keep the ball and once this data is collected data analysts are generating insights and these insights are changing the way football is played amazing right the other two important fascinating points which i would like to discuss with you are pitch control and off camera actions pitch control means making data driven decision such that a team could make maximum use of the pitch and off camera action means now analysts are focusing more on what a player is doing when he don't have the ball this graph is a visualization example of pitch control where it captures region of space controlled by certain players and the player circled in yellow has the ball and his team has access to the areas of the pitch colored in blue while areas colored in red are controlled by opposing team pitch control theory says that yellow circle player must pass the ball to a teammate positioned within a blue zone so pitch control constantly crunches the numbers to determine which areas of the field are most promising in order to score a goal you can see how this would be helpful looking at first half performance and suggesting changes in second half to do better i hope this video was informative and enjoyable thanks for watching subscribe our channel for more such contents